Yeah, I don't know, man. Hi, everyone. So I wanted to show you my Tim Holtz cork uh, dome, what I used it for. Um, and you have to hold it here, mama. This is my daughter. So basically what I did is I put in a little Christmas tree and I added some seed beads. The Christmas trees are from Michael's. They're the Art Mine Cecil trees. And I got the pack with a whole bunch of different sizes. It was like $1.99, so that worked out well. The only thing I did do was um, I took off the, the bottom of the tree and I put it directly inside the the cork and then this border here the silver border is from the borders of Tim Holtz industrial stickers um, it says they're stickers but for me for some reason they didn't really work so I ended up having I used a whole bunch of stuff to see if it'll glue and it wasn't really working so I ended up going to my trusty hot glue mama I need to put it in the camera sorry um, so my daughter really likes this what I did was I added um, like I said I added some seed beads just to kind of give it that snow globe uh, look to it and you could see right there where I added the glue I put the hot glue just on the corner where they meet and the rest of it is still being held by the glossy accents and the the other glues that I tried and this one here, this one, um, I actually put glue and seal the, what is this, um, the matte finish, the matte finish. Um, and then once I covered it with that, I let it, I let it dry. Once it was completely dry, it hasn't finished drying for the second part. Once it was completely dry, I went ahead and I put um, clear rock candy crackle paint. And I'm hoping for a, like... Well, it's kind of going there, you see? It's got that clear, shattered glass look. It's pretty cool. I saw um, Tim Holtz use one of these exactly like this. And then he put in his um, his doll, that white doll with no arms. It was really cool. So I don't know what I'm going to stick in here. I don't want to put a tree because it's not going to be the same. I'll see what I put in there. And this is the other one I'm going to do. I'm just waiting for the ink on this to dry. I think it's already dry. Yeah. So, oh, for this, for the coloring of the of the sticker, all I used was alcohol ink. I used the watermelon alcohol ink. I just poured three drops directly on there, and I just grabbed any old sponge. Doesn't really matter. And I just started dabbing across until it changed colors. And you know, I'm not really much of a perfectionist. So I kind of like the fact that some of the silver is peeking out. So yeah, that's how how that's how I changed the color for for the stickers. And again, my tree is where is this? My daughter is like all over the place with this thing. She really likes it. So that's my finished product. Thanks for watching.